one family-run bakery stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with those agitators. They sure did. They said they were trying to protect their business, but those vandals and those agitators still managed to knock out a giant pane of glass here at Corbo's Bakery. is right in the heart of Playhouse Square. The, the storefront of this longtime bakery looks a lot like others up and down Euclid Avenue. There's shattered glass, trash, and debris everywhere, but as you can tell, the painstaking cleanup process has begun. They've started vacuuming up some of the broken glass, and now they're putting giant sheets of plywood over where that window pane it used to be. The business had been closed for the past several weeks and was planning on reopening Monday, and that likely won't be happening now. Shattered glass and blaring car and business alarms punctuated a full-throated, exhausting day downtown as what authorities describe as a small group of agitators denigrated what was largely a peaceful assembly. When police began to disperse the crowd, small groups of agitators moved up and down Euclid Avenue, breaking windows, throwing rocks and batteries, causing mayhem. John and Selena Corbo, the owners of Corbo's Bakery, knew they were outnumbered, but they stood in the doorway of their business, preventing their investment from being looted too. They accused us of wanting to hurt someone. We said, that's not why no, we're here. We're not. just standing here protecting our business. That was it, you know. Most of them understood, but not all of them. And then they tried to like yeah. hit us or throw stuff at us. So we just walked back in and then they broke our window. Honestly, I just want to protect my family. You know, that's my biggest worry. You know, if a window breaks, okay. As long as I walk away with everybody, you know, you could build, yeah. break another, you know, get another window. But if you got to prevent as much as the looting, damages you can while maintaining our lives right. and that was the number one and again in their press conference press conference in the wee hours of the morning about one o'clock this morning mayor frank jackson and, and police chief calvin williams they emphasized that the actions of the group that did stuff like this did not represent the entire body that peacefully assembled yesterday reporting live downtown jordan vandenberg news five